designed and built here in Australia. So very, very unique um, to the scooter market and very impressive by all means by Dragon. Um, if you want to come in closer here, let's get some specs on this. So we've got Zoom fully hydraulic brakes. So no partial Zoom uh, brake setup where they do a partial um, hydraulic system done by cable, uh, done by cable. Up the top here we've got the, the typical zoom hydraulic brake and lever. We've got these awesome grips while we're up here. Awesome grips. Now this is new LCD dash. You can, this is in broad daylight, you can see that's very visible, very visible to see. Down just below here we've got our, our uh, settings, so 1, 2 and 3 for performance modes, which is pretty cool. You actually click it and it actually does change up on the dash there, which is pretty nice. We've also got um, LED indicators, which comes up on the screen here as well. Um, probably a little bit hard to see at the moment, but um, yeah, we'll probably show you on the other scooter. Um, as well as this, we've got keys, which is nice. Always nice to have keys for the scooter. Um, this is part of the accessory pack that you do get with the scooter, a, little, a good phone holder. It's very sturdy, good bit of kit. We've also got a horn. Show you. Horn as well. Got a dual and single motor on this side here, just below the thumb throttle. And um, we've got also got a quite a large deck here, guys. This is um, this is my foot, just to show you size. I'm size 10, so that's quite easy. Sits on there quite quite large. I know photos don't do justice in videos and stuff, so it's a bit of comparison for you. And there's a helmet. Um, we've also got this nice lightning bolt, chrome lightning bolt on the side, which if I actually turn the light on. Just behind it there, we've got blue, nice little blue LED uh, lighting there, which is nice. We've got inbuilt deck headlights at the front here as well. A little bit hard to see in the sun, but that's all right. And we've got tail lamps as well. So we've got trail lamps as well as a brake light included into the back footrest, which you can actually stand on, which is awesome. Also at the back here, of course, we've got the uh, dual, uh, the uh, zoom hydraulic brakes there which is quite lovely. These are really, really strong brakes and awesome stuff. Also, you would recognize under here, we've actually got a, a uh, adjustable suspension set up both front and back. They're both the same, which is actually really, really nice. The motors are 30, 3,800 watts. Um, we've got a 60, 60 amp hour battery inside this beast. 23 amp hour and a half, 23, 23 and a half amp hour, as well as which is pretty cool, it's a little combination pin so you can actually lock this up which is nice. Inside we've got a removal battery, dual charging ports on the battery itself and of course you've got um, these are uh, 40 amp hour controllers so this thing if you want to get it up and boogieing it will definitely do so quite easily. Lock that back up. Overall this, this um, scooter is very impressive, very sleek design love the look of it. And we've also got indicators at the back here. Which you can probably just see there. Just shining through. Much like an Audi, which is pretty cool. Everyone loves the old with the sequential LEDs. And uh, we've got this, uh, this here is actually laser embroidered into the stem itself. So this is actually quite a nice, unique piece. And it actually looks really well. We've actually also got it painted in uh, metallic grey by the looks of it. Along with that stem. We've also got a really brilliant folding mechanism. Now this is actually quite unique. Straight off the bat we have we don't have to upgrade or, or do anything to the stem. This stem clamp is actually quite large. So easy enough. Just one clamp, three locking places. Simply release, slide up. 
fold down which of course then folds down into your deck just here and you're able to pick the scooter up by the stem itself now the unique thing about this stem is it's actually kind of rounded then goes straight and then rounded behind it looks a lot like it's a triangle but it's actually not but it's make it makes it very sturdy this folding mechanism with the locking has actually got a locating pin through it to stop it from uh, getting twisted or anything like that which we'll just show you as I bring it back up and so as you can see around here the stem's actually got a nice little slotted groove in there so obviously if you just make that out obviously out of place so it's got to be right on point there but actually up in the top of this stem clamp here it's actually got that little notch that it actually slides straight into that so if we just line that up simple effective slide it on down give it a bit of wiggle and obviously point it up like I say and that is rigid as anything so as you can see barely any movement in that at all so awesome bit of kit this scooter is very 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 well built very well built very thoughtful well thought well thought out it's got the bars up here pretty cool you can change degrees and stuff like that so if you're get the aftermarket handlebars and stuff like that if you're a taller or shorter rider that'll benefit you definitely 